Well, as most of you know, uh, my wife passed away with COVID at 58 years old, and I can't believe it, but she did. And so with that said, I want to thank you because I felt your prayers. I saw the posts and the concerns, and you extending your love toward me and support. I truly felt it. You know, preaching the gospel, sharing the word, uh, is just that, sharing a word. And words either have meaning or they don't. And that's for both you and me. And now I've experienced uh, the loss of my wife of 30 years. And what I can testify to is the value in the word and the truth that's in it. The strength of the spirit that has girded me up and girded my children. I'm thankful for their response. They have been incredible through this. They're all three believers as well. And I've seen the testament of the spirit in their lives. Again, this is only words until you've walked through it. And then for me and for my kids, I can tell you it's a very real thing. My prayer is that my testimony to you, the countenance that I'm experiencing in my life can somehow be of value to you, that you can taste and see that the Lord is good in this moment through me and through my testament, through my testimony. I hope that the Spirit has as much value to you as it does me. It has proved itself time and time again. I used to think I knew what it meant when David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. I used to think I know what that meant. Now I do know what that means. I know what it is to be in the valley of the shadow of death and to yet walk with the Spirit of God. May this be a blessing to you. May you hear the testimony of the truth of Christ Jesus, and may it ring true in your heart. And finally, more to come.